Hey, Marcus Hutzel here. And in this quick video, hopefully I wanna talk about a couple of bottom plate options for the Sony ZV-1 because I was looking for something to uh, accentuate my ZV-1 and I'll get to why in just a sec, but I've got a couple of different models here. I've got the UU Rig R054 and I've got the Nicey Rig 465. So similar, but obviously different plates, but they both serve the same function. And I'll talk about which one I'm keeping and I think which one I'm sending back and hopefully just provide some more information so you can make a decision on whether you want either one of these. So, you know, why would you want something like this or why would you maybe need something like this for any camera, specifically the Sony ZV-1? Well, if you're familiar with the Sony ZV-1 at all, you're also familiar with the fact that Sony put the bottom quarter 20 mounting hole way too close to the battery and SD card door. Now, in general, if you're just using the camera, that's not a problem. You can still open the door and get your SD card out and your battery. However, if you like mounting your camera on any sort of tripod, then you're always having to put a plate on, mount on the tripod, and then if you need to change the battery or get the card out, you've got to take the tripod plate off because as you can see, if you put on any tripod plate, you just, you can't get to the door. And that's a pretty big tripod plate. However, even a small peak design plate, once attached will not allow you to open the door in any way, shape or form. Now, this may or may not be important to you. I'm coming from a 10 year old Sony RX100 in the compact camera lineup. I've had this camera for a long time. And I always used to use these cheaper tripods like you would find at electronic stores, or this is actually an Amazon one, 20 bucks. And they have kind of your standard larger plate. And this was never a problem for me when I was using this camera. And that's because the way I use this camera, this is a camera I would take on road trips, vacations, something I could basically keep in my pocket. And when I was using it, I was out and about all day. I just would use it until either I ran out of SD card space or until I needed to change the battery. So I didn't always need to take the plate off of the camera. I could just use the camera all day long and then take the plate off when I got home for the night, dump all my files or change the battery. And that's generally how I used to use this camera historically. And it's been on the shelf for a while. I haven't used it in a while, but I recently got it back out because I wanted another small camera that I could fit into tight spaces and do more video work with it here in my home office and YouTube studio. But the limitations with the RX100 for me are that it only does 1080, and it only records up to 30 minutes. And I always forget, and if I end up recording for more than 30 minutes, this thing has stopped and I don't always remember. So it still provides a great image. I've taken a lot of great photographs and done some decent video with this camera as well. But I decided to go ahead and pick up a used ZV-1. It's mint condition from eBay. And I got this because it gives me 4K and it gives me pretty much unlimited record time uh, as long as my battery doesn't die or the car doesn't fill up. But let's take off this Peak Design plate. But since I want to use it more here in the studio and record long or short segments with it, I find that I'm often re-recording things and I need to hit record, take the card out, put it in the computer, offload the files and then maybe do another take, put the card back in. So I didn't want to constantly have to take a plate off just to get in the battery door. And even if I were just using a simple small tripod like this, yes, you can attach the tripod directly to it, but that's just kind of a pain when you need to take the card out a lot over a short amount of time. If I were just using this out and about, again, on vacations, I probably wouldn't necessarily need a bottom plate, but since I plan to use this more here, in my home office. I'm going to need to be taking the card and battery out quite a bit. So I decided to get one of the many different plates that are out there that solve this problem. And I actually picked up two. This is the UU Rig R054. And this is the Nicey Rig 465, which even though it has a bottom plate, as you can see, also has a vertical grip, making it more of an L bracket. Either one of these plates, as you can see, fit on the bottom and what they do, this is the UU Rig R054. Once installed, they allow you to open up that battery door and then still actually have something attached to the camera. So I can have this camera obviously on a tripod, don't have to remove it, pop the door open, get my card or my battery out 
and I just don't have to go removing that all the time. So again, this particular one is the UU Rig R054. It's like the smallest one. It's thin. It gives you access to the door. It has many additional quarter 20 mounts on the bottom. It even has a cold shoe slot so you can put something else down there like a small microphone or any other accessories that will fit into a cold shoe. So very compact, thin and lightweight and less expensive. And I thought that's exactly what I was looking for. However, when I got it in here, I realized for me the fault of this and that's that I still have to attach a tripod plate or an Arca Swiss plate to fit this on any of my uh, tripods or my other arms because I have Arca Swiss receiving plates on almost everything here in my office. All of my little mobile tripods. I have lots of Arca Swiss plates everywhere. And of course, that means anytime I do want to put it on a tripod, be it Arca Swiss or one of these cheap tripods, that I'm going to have to hunt for a plate either in my bag or in my drawer if it's not attached to the tripod itself. That is just a hindrance for me with the UU Rig R054. Not to mention the fact that when you do have a plate on, you know, it's not going to sit flat anymore. It's going to be tilted. And when you don't have a plate on it or when you're using the Nicey Rig one, it sits flat and they both sit flat, but having to attach a plate it's not going to sit flat anymore. So again, the Nicey Rig version has that grip on it. And I wasn't necessarily needing or wanting a grip. The ZV-1 does have a small grip, whereas my older RX-100 does not have any grip. And I'm used to that. It was okay. I was able to hold it just fine. So having a little bit of a grip already on the ZV-1 was great. This, I thought, well, do I want more of a grip? It's going to add more bulk, a little more weight to the ZV-1. But I thought I'd try it out. And once we install it, it doesn't add that much, but it does feel better in the hands. And the bottom, as you see here, allows the same thing. It allows the door to open. You can get your SD card out. You can get your battery out. It also has quarter 20 mounts here on the bottom. And it also has the cold shoe slot, just like the UU Rig R054. However, the Nicey Rig has one feature that this doesn't have. And if you notice the bottom of the Nicey Rig, the bottom of the Nicey Rig right here under the lens of the camera is thicker. See right there, it's got another row of holes. And what that is, that my friends, is an Arca Swiss mount built into the Nicey Rig grip plate for the ZV-1. So I no longer have to grab an Arca Swiss plate and attach it since it's built in to the Nicey Rig plate. I can just mount that onto any of my tripods and that doesn't inhibit the door opening. I can still open the bottom door and get in while my camera is mounted to a tripod. So for me, Having that Arca Swiss plate already built in just was the selling point for me. And that's why basically I'm sending the UU rig back. Um, now, a couple of differences other than the ones I've already talked about. Obviously, the Nicey rig is, is thicker. It's got the grip. You do actually get some more quarter 20 mounting holes on the side of the grip. This doesn't have those. It does have the extra ones on the bottom, but they both have them on the bottom. Now, one more thing that I found. Hang on, let me take this off. I found that with the UU rig, the opening, even though it allows the door to open, is just a little tight for me to get my fingers in there and get the SD card out. It was just, it was hard to get out sometimes despite the fact that the plate allows the door open and allows access to the SD card and battery slot. The opening on the Nicey rig is actually, it's just a touch wider, just a little bit. However, the plate's also thicker, so you get a little bit wider opening, but now it's just ever so slightly deeper to get in. But I do find that I'm able to get the SD card out with the Nicey rig plate a little more easily than through the opening on the UU rig plate. So another benefit of the Nicey rig for my seemingly normal sized hands. I don't know, I can just, it just gives me enough room to get the edge of my thumb down in there and pull it out. Whereas on the UU rig, I just, 
and just can't get down in there. The distance between the card and the plate is just thinner on the UU rig and I just can't really get my finger down in there to get a grip on it. So I usually end up having to just hopefully have enough friction on my first finger to pull it out. So it just takes longer for me to occasionally get this out and it's just more troublesome for me and my fingers. There's the nice U rig and you can see there's just a little bit more distance between the SD card and the edge of the plate. When that pops out, I can actually get my thumb in there just enough, a little bit more than the UU rig. And so for me, just another feature of the nice U rig that works better. So I've got a little more grip. I've got more mounting holes on the side. I've got an Arca Swiss plate built in and I've got a larger opening to allow me to get the SD card out of the bottom, which is the entire point, or at least half the point of these plates. Get the SD card out and get the battery out without having to remove whatever you want to attach to the bottom. So for me, I'm keeping the Nicey rig and I'm sending the UU rig back. I don't need two plates. This one serves all the functions I need. And actually is for me still pocketable depending on the pocket you put it in, but it still fits in my back pocket if I needed to even with the additional grip on it. And I find with more grip just comes more security. And with a brand new to me camera from eBay, I really don't wanna drop this thing. I'd really, I'd really just, you know, like to have a good grip on it anytime I'm going to be taking the camera anywhere I wanna take it. Photos, videos, whatever. The nice rig gives me a little bit better grip on this sucker. So that's it. I hope that saved the recording. I didn't stop recording. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Take your pick. But for me, the nice rig was the way to go. I'm happy with it. See you later.